before we start, make sure you've set up your home hub for wireless networking and that you're positioned within the wireless range of your home hub. You'll need your wireless network name and wireless key details too. The default settings can be found on the back of the home hub. They can also be found on the card that looks like this, which came in the box with your home hub. At this point, you will also need to ensure that your Xbox 360 wireless networking adapter is plugged into your Xbox 360 as shown. From the Xbox 360 dashboard, navigate right to the System tab, then navigate down to Network Settings, and press the A button on your Xbox 360 controller to select. After this, navigate down to Edit Settings, and again press the A button. You will now be presented with the basic settings screen. Scroll down to the wireless mode option and press the A button. Your Xbox 360 will now scan for available access points within range. This may take a few moments to complete. When it's done, you'll be presented with a list of available access points. If at this point you can't see the name of your hub, try bringing your Xbox 360 and BT Home Hub closer together and try the search again. If you still don't see the name of your hub, you may have a low signal caused by wireless interference. Pause this video here and watch our video titled, What is Wireless Interference? Using the up and down buttons on your Xbox 360 controller, navigate to the access point you wish to use and press A to continue. The next screen is where you'll be prompted to enter your BT Home Hub wireless key. The default settings can be found on the back of your home hub. Enter this using the on-screen keyboard and your Xbox 360 controller. Make sure the details you enter here are correct. When you're finished, navigate to the Done option and press A to exit the keyboard screen. Your network settings will now have changed and you'll need to test the connection. You can do this by selecting Test Xbox Live and pressing A. Your Xbox 360 will now check to ensure all details of the wireless connection are correct. This may take a few moments to complete. Once this is done, you can continue by pressing A.